Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're back, or I'm back in a different position. Um, in the background, you can see the organ in the organ room. And um, we decided to put the PC together here. This is Vanessa's little office, believe it or not, in the sort of the, um, the ante room, shall we say, to the organ room. And um, here I am, wired up to the earth, ready to, um, ready to put some PC components together. Ein wunderschönen guten Tag zusammen. Neuer Blick und neuer Blickwinkel. Um, im Hintergrund seht ihr natürlich die Orgel im Orgelzimmer und hier bin ich in unserem Vorzimmer. Das ist Vanessa's Büro sozusagen hier oben. Ähm, auch ein kleiner Raum, aber wegen Licht und, ähm, und äh, Platz haben wir gedacht, lass uns das so machen. So, ich sitze jetzt hier an Vanessa's Tisch heute, schön geerdet, damit nichts passieren kann. Und ähm, ja, wir basteln ein paar PC-Komponenten zusammen. Right, now in the first video I showed you all the bits and pieces we bought for the PC and since then I have done absolutely nothing with them. It's been a very busy time of late as you may have seen and um, yes we need to get this finally up and running. So today I'm going to take the motherboard out of its box. I haven't even opened the box yet. Um, I haven't looked at anything yet. And we're going to put all the components onto the motherboard that we need. And then in a next video, I will be putting it all in the computer case with the power supply, with all the cables and all the bits and pieces. Oh my God, that's, that's the difficult bit, believe it or not. Or at least I think that's going to be the difficult bit. Something I didn't show you last time around was an NVMe uh, SSD drive. And I've got two of these. Uh, this is a one terabyte drive, and that's going to be for all the sort of the, you know, windows and general sort of stuff in the background. Um, and then all the Hauptwerk necessary components, they're going to be on a separate SSD and also an NVMe drive, a two terabyte drive. And both of those will be installed on the motherboard. The second one won't be installed there yet because it's currently attached to the iMac. It's running as an external uh, Thunderbolt drive in its own little case. Um, and that's got all my Hauptwerk stuff installed on it. So I'm going to see if there's a way of keeping all those files on there and just having them installed here, but I'm not sure about file types and all the rest of that. I'm going to have to ask my guru about those kinds of things. Tja, heute, heute mache ich nur um, die Sachen auf hier, auf dieses Motherboard. Ist es das, die, der, die oder das Motherboard? Das ist eine sehr gute Frage auf Deutsch. Weiß ich nicht. Um, und das machen wir heute. Mehr mache ich nicht. Das habe ich noch gar nicht aufgemacht. Seit letztem Mal habe ich gar nichts aufgemacht. Also das ist immer noch 100% zu hier. Um, ich habe es noch nicht mal angefasst. Um, genau, und heute basteln wir das alles zusammen. Das ist eigentlich ja, die einfache Sache beim PC-Bau. Und äh, die schwierigen Sachen ist dann, das zeigen wir im nächsten Video, da bastle ich das alles zusammen in den Case. Hey. Äh, und die ganze Verkabelung und so weiter. Ich glaube, das wird, ich glaub, das, wird äh, das schwierigste Element, die Verkabelung. Hm. Bin gespannt. Was ich euch letztes Mal nicht gezeigt habe, ist hier unser Storage. NVMe, also diese wunderschöne, mega schnelle SSD, also PCIe, PCIe auf Englisch viel einfacher, ähm, diese moderne, Schnittstelle. Man kann, ich glaube, sogar drei auf diesem Motherboard installieren. Ich habe natürlich zwei. Eins davon, ein Terabyte hier, das wird heute installiert, das für Windows und für die ganzen normalen Sachen. Ähm, ähm, die andere Festplatte ist schon oder ist noch, sorry, am iMac dran. Äh, da habe ich als externe Thunderbolt Drive ähm, meine ganze Hauptwerksachen da installiert, die ganze Sample Sets und meine ganze User Files mit meinen Präferenzen und so weiter. Und ich weiß nicht, ob es eine Möglichkeit gibt, das eins zu eins von Mac auf Windows da einfach so zu nutzen oder ob ich das alles löschen, neu formatieren und neu installieren muss. Wahrscheinlich werde ich das auch so machen, damit ich so komplett, completely fresh Version von Hauptwerk und alle Orgeln dann habe. So, das ist der Plan. Ähm, Im Hintergrund übrigens hört ihr eventuell Haushaltsgeräusche, zum Beispiel ein Hund oder meine Frau. Ähm, mal gucken. Yeah, um, please be aware, there may be some background noises today. I am using a new mic that we finally invested in. Um, my other lapel mic that I had before, it sort of stopped working, so we've invested in a new one and it seems to be much better so far. But it may be picking up some background noises. There may be a dog tapping about in the background with his long claws. Or there might be Vanessa 
tapping around in the background uh, doing things for Gaucho's garden. One never knows. Right, let's get going. Here we go. Um, so, I have not opened this yet. Das ist tatsächlich das erste Mal, okay. Ihr seht schon, alles noch schön. Ähm, so, jetzt muss ich mal gucken, dass ich mein... Äh, ich, bin, ich bin geerdet hier. Also, was muss man wirklich noch machen? Das ist sehr wichtig. Was ist das? Okay, um, right, what do we have here? I'm going to build everything on the motherboard and I'm going to put the motherboard on the motherboard box. So I suppose we just lift this, oh God, lift this out first and see what we've got. Oh my goodness me. Okay, we have a cable. We have some screws. Oh God, I didn't think to bring a screwdriver. We have, oh, that's DVD, that's useless. Um, I'm guessing that's for the back of the case to um, offer cables and things like that. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, a manual, which I will probably throw away and ignore. And then a motherboard layout guide. That's probably not a bad idea. So, anyway, so we'll keep that handy. What's that? Oh, here's another packet with a tiny little piece of something sticky. I wonder what that's for. Oh, and there's another one with a tiny little, tiny little screws. Good God. Okay, so what that's for, I do not yet know. However, let's remove that. We might need that. And then we'll close it up. Okay, ihr habt das gerade gesehen auf Englisch. Ich habe alles da rausgeholt. Ich weiß nicht, was alles ist. Das werden wir dann gleich sehen. Das sind verschiedene winzige Schrauben. Kleine, ich weiß nicht, so ein kleines so Klebepad. Das ist ein Kabel wahrscheinlich für, das sieht aus wie ein... Was ist das? Wahrscheinlich SATA wahrscheinlich. Sollte irgendwo auch eine Wi-Fi Antenna sein. Vielleicht ist das hier drin. Just don't me, there should be a Wi-Fi Antenna. Yeah, that looks like a Wi-Fi Antenna, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm guessing that's what that is. Okay, let's pop that there. This is interesting. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this in two languages at the same time. So what do I actually have here? I have my motherboard. I have my RAM. I have my SSD. I have some thermal paste because we're going to install the processor as well. Right, so that's all very exciting, isn't it? Right, let's get this thing out of its bag. Oh my goodness, this is where it gets dangerous. Right, let's remove this piece of cardboard, pop that back there. Throw it on the floor. Right, this is all live. This is an anti-static bag, so it's good, so I can keep a hold of all this and a hold of what I'm touching here as well. Um, Theoretically, in this day and age, we don't need to be too worried about static stuff. You should still take care playing around with static. It's not a good idea to be charging. I'm not going to rub balloons on my shirt and then start touching things. I'm not going to do that. Um, but we don't need to be too worried about it these days. But psh, don't tell anyone. Okay, yeah, wegen static. No, it's heißt nicht static. Wie heißt es? Wegen um, ja, Entladungen und so weiter. Ich muss ein bisschen aufpassen, aber heutzutage ähm, mit den modernen Komponenten ist es nicht ganz so schlimm, wie es damals war. Aber ich will kein Risiko eingehen. Ich mache das schon richtig. Okay, was haben wir denn hier? Lass mal gucken. Here we go. Let's take it out of the bag. Ooh, it's exciting. I'm going to put it on the bag as well. And let's turn it. Actually, let's leave it that way for you so that you can see what's going on as well. Right, that's exciting. It smells nice too. Well, we could do sort of like an ASMR video. There's an AMSR, whatever it's called. Oh, I need, a, I need a screwdriver. I need to undo this. Okay, I need to go and get some tools and then we can get back to this. Okay, armed with a screwdriver of various types because we never know what we're going to need. Pinched from Garcho's Garage. And by the way, we're going to start some Garcho's Garage videos again very soon. Now, what do we have here? Here's a motherboard. Do you know what a motherboard does? It basically connects all your PC components together. Hmm. So here, for example, this will be the processor. Here are the RAM slots. This is where the storage will live. This is, believe it or not, where the second storage lives. And then if I had other sort of externals, like a graphics card would go here, a new style graphics card, an old style graphics card would go there, and various other PCIe or PCI slots, whatever they do. And then all these things here, all the different connections, these are for hard disks, these are SATA connections, I recognize those. 
Um, there's a few, what's that? No idea. USB 3, if it could be connected to the front panel, I suppose. What's this? Uh, oh, these are for the fans and all the things. It tells you what to do. It's very clever and everything's very self-explanatory. There is, of course, a manual to help you along. Okay, was sehen wir hier? Also, es ist ganz ja, selbsterklärend eigentlich. Prozessor da, RAM da, Festplatte da, äh, Grafikkarte, falls ich das hätte, da habe ich natürlich nicht, brauche ich nicht. Andere externe Karten da, die ganze elektrische Verbindungen, SATA, SATA wahrscheinlich, sagt man SATA auf Deutsch, weiß ich nicht, ähm, für Festplatten da und so weiter und so fort. Hier kommen die Fans. Da kommen andere Fans, wenn ich die brauche. Strom kommt hier rein oder da rein und so weiter und so fort. Also sehr selbsterklärend. Right, what are we going to do first? I think we'll do the processor first. Get that over and done with. Now everyone said you should be quite careful doing this because this is where things can go wrong. So you open this up. This is very clever. Nothing can go wrong here so far. Oh my goodness. And uh, there we have the opening for the processor. Now we have to remove this piece of plastic here. I've been warned about this. So let's remove that. Bye bye piece of plastic. Do we need to do anything? Install processor first, then remove and keep the cover. Oops. Okay, wir machen den Prozessor zuerst und hier steht tatsächlich, lass das drauf, bis du das Prozessor, bis du den Prozessor drauf hast. Oops. No is the answer to that. Right, anyway, I suppose it's to keep it clean. Let's keep it just there. There's no dust in this house anyway. Right, how do we get into this box here? I'm guessing we get into it here. Fingernail, there, perfect. Ooh, processor. So was habe ich noch nie in der Hand gehabt. Das ist wirklich spannend. I've never had anything like this in my hand before. This is rather exciting, he said, dropping it. So it looks like a massive big thing, but inside there is just a tiny little processor that fits here. Now, how is this going to open without falling? There's Intel on top, so I'm guessing it opens this way. And it does. And inside this magnificent box is this tiny little plastic thing here, which is the processor. Oh my goodness me. Now, modern processors are much easier to install than older processors, I have learned. Um, there's an up and there's a down. I should have taken my glasses for this, shouldn't I? Okay. Moderne Prozessoren sind deutlich einfacher zu installieren als alte, habe ich gehört. Also früher hatten die die ganzen Pins und mittlerweile, mittlerweile sind die Pins da und die Löcher sind hier. Oder ist es immer noch andersrum? Weiß ich nicht. Aber es ist sehr selbst erklärt. So we have an up, we have a down, we have one, two, three, four little notches, we have one, two, three, four little notches. Okay, so it can only go this way. This is the exciting part. Processor in place. That's it. That's exciting. Right. Das war super spannend. Ich dachte, das wäre viel komplizierter, viel doofer. So, und jetzt mit ein bisschen Druck runter. That's it. Okay, the processor is in place and it fitted and it fitted without any pressure at all. So that part is all right. Can you believe this or not? My heart is racing in case I'm getting anything wrong here. This is weird. I've never done anything like this before. I hope I'm getting this right. If I'm not, then God, please tell me in the comments below. Right, RAM time. Let's do RAM next. Um, DDR4 RAM, which fits here. Now, there are one, two, three, four banks of RAM and they can each take, well, the whole thing can take up to 128 gigs at the moment. In the future, they may expand the possibilities of these 12th generation uh, processors to take more, which would be magnificent because with help work, the more, the better. 128, however, is incredibly decadent these days, so not to worry. Um, if I were only installing two channels of RAM, I would have to install, I think, the gray ones first. This says something on there, but it's so small, nobody can read that. But seeing as I'm using all four, it makes no difference. So you open up these little thingies on the side. So we're making it RAM. Um, 128 GB RAM habe ich. Uh, bei Hauptwerk kann man nicht genug haben. Um, 128 ist momentan das Maximum für diese Prozessor, für diese 12. Generation. Um, Intel i9, wie ihr gesehen habt. Um, in der Zukunft 
gibt es eventuell die Möglichkeit, dass die äh, für mehr freigeschaltet werden. Ob das stimmt oder nicht, werden wir natürlich sehen. Aber 128 GB RAM passt hier perfekt. Und ähm, ach, da steht es. Da steht es da. Ähm, und falls ich, sagen wir nur 64 hätte und nur zwei von diesen ähm, Reihen hier bräuchten, gibt es tatsächlich eine Anordnung hier, welche man zuerst nimmt. Das sind die grauen, dann die schwarzen. Aber in meinem Fall ist egal, ich brauche alle vier. So, was habe ich denn hier? Alright, time to install the RAM properly. What have I got? I have bought Kingston Fury Beast DDR4 RAM. This is very fast. This is actually gaming RAM, believe it or not, which is not something you actually need for help. But, but believe it or not, it was actually pretty much... Do I, do these open as well? No, they don't. Believe it or not, this was pretty much the... Not cheapest. I would never say 128 gigs of RAM was cheap, but... That's a good start. It's not actually fitting in. Uh, how does it slot in, people? Is that open? That is open. Oh, good. This is good. No, but this is what I decided to get because, ah, value for money wise, ah, there we go. Value for money wise, this was the best I could find. Click, that's one. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's fast, right? It's gaming RAM. Kingston Fury Beast DDR4, 3200, I believe. So pretty much the fastest you can get at the moment. I could have gone for DDR5, um, but it's ludicrously expensive and completely unnecessary for Hauptwerk purposes. Hauptwerk just needs a lot of RAM to load the sample sets and nothing else. It doesn't need it for any fast moving around of huge amounts of file sizes and things like that. It's just load the sample set, keep them there. That's all it is. Um, so this is absolutely perfect. This will definitely do the job. It will be more than fast enough. Did that click all over? That looks pretty good. And there we have it. So yes, yeah, so this will be absolutely fine for the purposes required. Okay, that was easy. Das war auch einfach. Wunderbar. Was machen wir jetzt? Ähm, Festplatte. Das geht deutlich schneller, als ich gedacht habe heute. Ein bisschen aufräumen. Meine Frau sagt immer, ich muss aufräumen. Okay. Okay. Festplatte. Kommt hier rein. So, jetzt Moment. Erdung, Erdung, Erdung. Und jetzt schrauben wir dieses Ding hier ab und gucken mal, was da runterkommt. Ist das magnetisch? Ist der magnetisch? Mein Schraubenzieher wahrscheinlich nicht. Hmm. I do not have a magnetic screwdriver. Where shall I put you? I'll put you there. So a little screws to help us out. I'm guessing this is a kind of heat shield for the uh, for the for the hard disk. I'm guessing that's the idea. I think these are actually captive screws. I didn't have to. Yes, they're captive. Oops. Let me screw this one back in then. I didn't have to screw it all the way out. Okay. Ah, and here is also a... What is this? Wahrscheinlich a hitze ableiter. Some kind of heat dissipator on the back here, I'm guessing. Is that sticky backed? Remove, it says. Okay, so we remove that. I really should have taken my glasses here. Right, one PCIe drive. Isn't that amazing? I think the world of technology is amazing. That is one terabyte of storage now. It's interesting, isn't it? Because that is 32 gigabytes of fast memory, but this is an entire terabyte of storage and one tiny little thing. I'm guessing the future will be that RAM sticks are this size as well. and Everything will be incredibly fast. Why we need all this amount of RAM, I have no idea. Now, how does this go? How does this fit? I'm guessing it fits in here, just like this. In it goes, and down it goes, yes. Ah, now I know what these little screws are for. Mm, where the hell did I put them? Here they are. Uh, that's something different. And that, oh my goodness. Right, which one do I take? Do I take the single screw, or do I take the other one? I suppose I take the single screw at this point. Shall we do it this way? Does that look right? Okay, jetzt brauche ich natürlich eine meiner kleinen Schrauben. Diese, diese, ich habe gerade auf Englisch gesagt, ist wirklich erstaunlich, wie winzig diese Sachen sind heutzutage. Also das ist tatsächlich ein Terabyte Speicher. Wenn man überlegt, dass das hier 32 GB RAM sind pro Ding und das ist, äh, naja, 
1000 GB oder 1024 GB, wenn man pedantisch werden will. Ähm, tja, ist unglaublich, wie die Sachen äh, jetzt anders sind. Oh, I see, right. Okay, this is a spacer and then. Okay, I should have looked at that first. I could use that spacer, couldn't I? Why do I need this one? Why don't I just unscrew this one? Because it won't unscrew. Okay, so we screw this in here. Earth, 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 Earth. Calling Earth. Okay. Now this will fit and that little screw will hold it in place. I'm guessing that's what that's all about. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? That looks good. Will this little screw hold that in place? Good God, it's tiny. Where's my screwdriver? There's my screwdriver. Will that actually hold it in place? I do hope so. And what I should have done, ladies and gentlemen, is taken my glass, I should have taken a magnifying glass to do this. Ich hätte eine Lupe gebraucht, um das alles hier zu sehen. Ich mache es mit Gefühl. Right, is that going to hold it? Please. Is it going to hold it down? Yes, it is. There we are. Okay, Festplatte auch installiert. Eigentlich langweilig, oder? It's actually quite boring, I've just realized. I thought it was going to be much more exciting than this, much more challenging. However, it isn't. So I suppose this is a good thing. Right, back with this chap again. So peel this stuff off here. It's very... Bleh. God. Everyone's going to be laughing at me doing this because I really need glasses to see what I'm doing. Ihr lacht euch bestimmt kaputt momentan, weil ich nicht sehen kann, was ich hier tue. Oh, good job I didn't unscrew that because I needed that for this. Funnily enough. Right, on we go and in we go. So I'm guessing the idea of this is it uh, keeps the heat away from the drive. And uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Hmm. Das war schnell. Oder? Habe ich jetzt alles? Festplatte, RAM, Prozessor. Was brauche ich noch? Das war's. Falls ich eine ähm, Grafikkarte hätte, das wäre dann hier oder hier, bla bla bla. Aber habe ich nicht, brauche ich nicht. Das war's dann. Also jetzt muss ich nur das Ganze in den Case zusammenbasteln und... Windows installieren und dann Hauptwerk installieren und dann hoffen und beten, dass alles richtig war. All that remains then is for me to put this in the case with the power supply, with the cooler, with the fan, with, uh, well that's it basically. Switch it all on, check that the BIOS is working, install Windows on it. That's it. Quite exciting, isn't it? All right. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we'll put it all together in the case. Danke fürs Zuschauen im nächsten Video. Basteln wir das in den Case zusammen. Bis dann. See you then. Bye bye.